you heard Brian mention, this is the ninth time someone in law enforcement has been attacked in Baltimore in the last six weeks. The trend started with a sh July shootout at a methadone clinic, and from there, those with a badge have become a common target. On the clock and off, law enforcement in Baltimore has been under attack, shot, beaten, and robbed. The trend started on July 15th. Early that morning at the Man Alive Methadone Clinic when Baltimore Police Sergeant Bill Shiflett was shot responding to a call of a man with a gun inside the clinic. The shooter was ultimately killed while Sergeant Shiflett is on the mend. Then, five days later, newly appointed Baltimore Police Deputy Commissioner Danny Murphy and his wife were robbed at gunpoint in Patterson Park. The civilian commissioner was forced to give up all of his valuables before the thieves took off in an SUV. Four days after that, a Baltimore police lab tech was attacked as he was heading to work by three teenagers in the Barclay neighborhood. The incident was caught on video and the teens were arrested within a few days. Then on August 8th, Sergeant Isaac Harrington was outside his northeast Baltimore home talking to a neighbor when he was robbed. Then as he was running away from the gunman, he was shot. He's now recovering at a rehab facility as police look for the shooter. Two weeks after that, a man attempted to rob two men that turned out to be a Baltimore City Schools police officer and a retired Department of Corrections officer in North Baltimore. They were both carrying and shot and killed the man. And then on Tuesday of this week, police say an officer was making a traffic stop when another car tried to hit him. It was that same suspect they say that would shoot at another officer just minutes later in West Baltimore. Again, the man police believe did that was shot and killed last night in East Baltimore. And following the recent incidents involving police, the Baltimore Police Union wants to create its own crime plan. The Fraternal Order of Police posted a statement on Twitter just late this afternoon saying it has lost faith in leaders, so it is taking steps to prepare a comprehensive strategy to make Baltimore safe. The FOP says its plan will be completed within 30 days and will be given to the mayor, the police commissioner, and the governor.